hello guys today in this video i am going to show you how you can create an aspire project using dotnet commands so so before creating the project first uh, i will install the available template so to do that i will use this command i will copy it from there and i will put it here so it will install the uh, that this template basically you can see now uh, these templates are installed here so yeah now as the next thing we will do here uh, we'll use this command to create the project So I will so this is the command dot net new aspire starter use redis cache so it will uh, also add the redis cache and this redis cache will run on the docker so make sure you have the docker running so for me yeah it is running here uh, so so yeah and I am going to put the output inside the folder aspire sample so let me hit enter so now you can see uh, it is creating the aspire sample solution file inside the folder aspire sample so uh, let it do the processing so yeah, you can see here uh, this project is created now So I will move inside this folder using cd aspire sample and here we are having the created project so I will open it inside the vs code using the command this code space dot command so you can see uh, here we have a solution file and we have few projects created here like aspire a dot api service uh aspire sample dot app host and sample dot web so this is basically a razor project you can see here it is having its layout and its css and razor files are here so it is also having a layout page here and it is also having the property double double root and settings and everything is here so inside the program.cs you can see its configuration so in the configuration you can see uh, it is trying to access here this api app services so app services is nothing but uh, this is that this app services which is trying to i mean it's getting accessed from the web so we'll see uh, the folder structure in detail in the next video so in this video uh, we'll just try to run this project so let's check for the next command to run this project so after creating the aspire starter project i mean aspire project with the aspire starter template uh, we can the next thing uh, we need to install that uh, local I mean HTTPS certificate on localhost so we'll do it like this so I need to put my credential here so yeah you can see successfully trusted the existing HTTPS certificate so this is also done now to run this project basically uh, we need to run uh, this project from visual studio code also we can run it so inside the vs code also I, we can access a terminal here okay and it is inside the aspire sample 
folder which is already the same which um, we are having here so we can also run it from here or from this terminal itself so it will behave or work same from the from both the places so uh, we need to run this file basically we need to run this app host project because this should be the starting project uh, and the main reason is that this is the uh, main project or you can say entry point of the web host so you will not web host as aspire some aspire project so it will first start the cache in the docker and after that it will start api service here okay and after that it will start this uh, web front end okay so let me use this command yeah this will be the command doc dot net run so let me run uh, from this terminal itself so i will put my command here dot net run project and this is the project name basically the location of the app host pro, uh, file and i will hit here enter so it's saying there is some error in the build okay maybe uh, because we are already inside this uh, file inside the spare sample so let me just remove it okay now let's run it so now it is building the project and yeah uh, it is now running this project so it is saying login to the dashboard so what we can do here we can run this url from here just i will just copy it from here and i will put it here in the browser i will hit enter here so you can see uh so one api service is running at this uh, and yeah it took some time to run other container as well as the web front end project so all the three things are running you can see so this is the beauty of uh, aspire so we let me also run it and just click on the http url so it is saying this page cannot be found okay let me run it again so yeah, it's not working on that let me use this another URL. So this is also same. Okay, let me run this. Yeah, this one is running here. And let me check the weather. So that means API is also running because it it is just called that uh, API in from internal uh, API call. Uh, let me also do it for multiple times. This seems working fine. Okay, but yeah, that API is not directly accessible here. So yeah, uh, it is fine. It's not open for um, our site. So yeah, we, here the main thing is that in the SPAR you can see the logs here. So for example, in API services, you we can see here. This is the log. We can also see the structure log. So we can also see the traces here. So in the in the traces, you can see uh, these are the calls done by the application. So for example, you can see API service here. You can see the front end uh, matrix here. Sorry, API service matrix, and this is the front end matrix. So all these things are provided by .NET Aspire. So this is the beauty of Aspire. So basically, it is saying this localhost page cannot be found, and it is throwing 404. That means this URL is not the correct one. So let's see what is the correct URL for accessing the API service. Let's go to program.cs, and here you can see it is having the minimalistic approach implementation. So by default, this is the endpoint. So let me try to access this endpoint here. So I will put weather forecast after this and I will hit enter. So yeah, you can see data is coming here.
okay so this is good thing and this is working fine as expected so i hope you under you got some idea about the dot net as pair so we'll see uh about the folder structure what is given by the default or we can see the template sample uh the template which is mentioned here so this is it the aspire starter template so in aspire starter basically there are here few things given uh, by default by dotnet so the first thing is api service is given second is app host is given third is service default is given and fourth is simple web web is given so service default is basically uh, for logging and traces and everything can be done from here so we need not to do a lot of changes here because it's already getting maintained by aspire but uh, we'll see those things in the coming videos so that is all guys in this video i hope you got some idea about the dotnet aspire thank you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you